two of the eight candidates running against Mayor Lori Lightfoot picking up notable endorsements Friday morning. That includes Brandon Johnson and Paul Vallis. No matter where you are in this city, we are building a political movement that is going to help transform this city. Some sitting aldermen have endorsed the current mayor while others are turning their sights to her opponents. Budget Chair and Alderman Pat Dowell, a one-time ally of the mayor's, says she's backing Brandon Johnson's bid. We're at a dire point in this city. We are at a crossroads. We have to take this election seriously. Dowell, now the sixth member of the city council to endorse Johnson, was surrounded by a group holding Women for Brandon Johnson signs during the event held in her South Side Ward Friday. <laughs> Meantime, Paul Vallis also winning an endorsement from second ward alderman Brian Hopkins on the north side, on top of his recent endorsement from retiring alderman Tom Tunney. There's an extra element of risk involved in making an endorsement now before we even know for sure who's going to be in the runoff. I'm willing to take that risk. Hopkins, who is running unopposed, speculating that some colleagues looking ahead to their next term may be privately supporting other candidates other than the mayor out of fear for retribution. Mayor Lightfoot is not a forgiving woman, right? We know that she has a tendency to even be vindictive, petty, if you will, in some cases. As support rolls in for Vallis, he's also being met with increased criticism by other candidates, including Chuy Garcia, who launched an ad labeling him a Republican who wouldn't protect abortion rights, even though Chicago elections are nonpartisan. Paul Vallis is a wolf in sheep's clothing. Chicago will not only be a safe place for women's reproductive rights for Chicagoans, but for anyone else who is coming to our great city. WGM political analyst Paul Lisnek weighing in on the latest in the mayoral race. Both of those voices shifting to Paul Vallis away from Mayor Lightfoot, that's a concern for Lightfoot because she did very well four years ago within the lakefront communities and certainly among those community groups. Lisnick says Dowell's endorsement of Johnson is yet another voice in city council saying they won't stand behind the mayor. Voters are looking more at environmental factors than they are the personalities of the candidates. So it's really about safety and security in people's homes and neighborhoods and it's about the economy. Now again, the town hall starts just about an hour from now. It is expected to last from 7 to 8.30, and we do expect to hear the candidates answer questions that were submitted by community members. People are already gathering here now in preparation for the event. Reporting live in Beverly, Courtney Spinelli, WGN News.